My name is Mr. John, the Boss Man Hall. Some of y'all have seen me on America's Got Talent or on the Apollo. But today, I'm in Philadelphia for the veterans. And we put this together to help honor the veterans, those that was in World War I, World War II. We want to honor them. We want to bring them out here this day, give them good music, entertainment, feed them, and honor them with rewards. No matter what branch of service you was in, you could come on out here on this day of honor for the veterans and enjoy yourself with us. We'll be back again on September 11th. We'll be right here at Vernon Park in Germantown, 5801 Germantown Avenue. Dr. Hankins, Aces Museum, and the Boss Man. We get together and we do this every year. I love you and hope to see you soon. Greetings, my name is HBO Maxey. I have 30 years of military service. Having served in the Air Force for 12 active and the active Army Reserve. My story is transparent, but it's very unusual. I went in service at 17. I had 14 months to go. My parents signed for me, but in the 14 months, I was discharged. So based upon that, I became, you know, I was satisfied. So I continued, re-enlisted, went to the Air Force. Again, they denied my promotion. I wanted to be an officer, which is in the Provost Marshal Field, which means that security and air police. But instead, I made a mistake and raised my hand to volunteer. I ended up in a combat outfit with a machine gun carrier, a weapons carrier, and uh, a bazooka, and a machine gun feeder. That is not the Air Force. I ended up with an M1, M16, and our job was to guard the border for retaliatory. Hello, my name is Chief Methuselah Zachariah Fellow Bradley IV. I'm the International Brain Trust Chairman for the Congressional Black Caucus on it's Veterans. It's very important to celebrate the veterans. When, when most of the veterans came back from Vietnam, they didn't get a parade, they didn't get all the things that they should have deserved on this. Um, you know, even now, some of those veterans are going to the Veterans Administration's office. They're not getting the proper care sometimes. Uh, I'm hoping that that's going to improve. So, but this is one day for us to say thank you for your service. Yes, my name is Benjamin Barry, from Little Grove, Pennsylvania, Tech Sergeant in the United States Army. I was drafted in June 1943. I got a deferment because I was about to graduate from high school. I got a deferment from the government. Thank you so much, guys. My name is Thank you so much for having me. I went in in July 25th, 1943. In the Army went to Camp Ellis, Illinois. From there, we were shipped overseas to England, from England to France, Normandy. We were 21 days after D Day. We followed the Third Army and the First Army, General Patton. Okay, as a woman veteran, especially as an African American female veteran, uh, we went through being overlooked for race. We knew that we had accomplished our goals and we had strived, passed the test, but then they would still overlook us for the next high race. And we had to endure that. We looked over being sent to a place that we didn't want to be sent, but we went there anyway and we survived and we thrived. We had to deal with racism within the units and to overcome that, knowing that they will hit you on your hairstyle or something that you didn't do, but then you see your other counterpart who is white, a male, and they had done the same thing or worked and it's overlooked and it's acceptable. So there's a lot to go through. It's an endurance. It's a way of steadfast and praying um, to get you through the days or the months or the years as a veteran. Thank you.